Hi, my darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my Aquarius, and this is going to be for the week of the 9th through the 15th of October, 2023. I will be using my Cosmic Tarot deck, and to clarify, I'll be using my Neoteric Feminine deck. So let's see what messages we have for you, Aquarius. Hope you all are taking care of yourselves. So Aquarius, this is for you. The Empress, abundance or fertility. The Two of Swords, a decision you got to make. Complex decision too. The Nine of Pentacles, what is it about? Is it in regards to, I don't know. So this could be coming into your rewards. It could be giving birth to your dreams, right? Um, it could be moving into a home. You got the key there and there's a house through the window. It could be pregnancy. And the first card there was the um, Empress. So however it resonates with you guys, okay? So please take what resonates. Please leave what doesn't. Um, the Seven of Swords here is some kind of, of deceitful energy around you. Somebody told you a lie, and that's what your decision is going to be based on. You're aware of that lie, or the lies. The Three of Pentacles, there's some kind of teamwork being built for you, some kind of collaboration. It might have to do with love. You got the Nine of Cups, your wishes come true. You got the Strength card, you found your inner strength. And you got the five of cups. You have accepted your loss. Whatever it is that was going on, wherever, whenever, you have, you have accepted it. Still feel a little upside down, but you, you've accepted it. You're going to move on. And that could be from past. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't necessarily mean anything, you know, um, current if everything is good. There is some kind of decision that you have to make. So, let's see. On top of the Empress, you got the Hierophant, you got the Page of Cups, and you got the Nine of Wands here. This has something to do with some kind of bind binding contract. You need to start, you, you need to use your intuition, okay? Um... And you got the nine of wands here. You're very resilient. You feel like this is your last stand though, you know? I won't feel like that. I think you got more than one last stand left, you know? You gotta change the way you're thinking, okay? Because this is above the abundance card, the empress. So that could be just abundance. The nine of pentacles. However, like I said, it resonates with you. You got the Hierophant, you got the Page of Cups, and you got the Nine of Wands here. Very resilient. You keep standing back up. Don't you ever give up. Don't. You got this. Then you got the Two of Swords. On top of the Two of Swords, you got the Sun card, you got the Star card, and you got the High Priestess. Oh, those are three beautiful cards. Happiness and positivity, keeping the faith and the hope. The high priestess using your intuition, starting to trust in and believing in you. Oh. Above this decision, you're going to make this decision. You're going to be able to make the decision. You're going to trust yourself. So you got the sun, you got the star, and you got the high priestess. Now, this is past energy, so you probably already made that decision. Then the nine of pentacles. Once you took care of all this beautiful energy here, 
over that decision. You had some kind of conflict here. I should have kept that, that other card. It was conflict as well. We got the Five of Swords. We got the Devil. And we got the Four of Cups. There was some kind of conflict where this, um, when you started seeing some money. It's something that binds you to this energy. You, you do a lot of um, meditation maybe or spend a lot of quiet time, you know? Because it seems like a lot of conflict is around you. This, this is past energy. You got the five of swords, you got the devil, definite arguments, you know, arguments. Maybe it was an abundance of arguing. Well, you started listening to yourself. So you got the four, um, the five of swords, the devil, and the four of cups. On top of the nine of pentacles. So something is blocking that beautiful energy there. Something that's unhealthy for you. Something that's causing conflict. Something that's un it's unhealthy. Somebody's telling you lies. You're going to find out. <laughs> You're going to find out. I got the world on top of the seven of swords. I got the ten of pentacles and I got the six of swords. And I Listen, whatever it is, please again, just take what resonates, okay? Whatever it is that you find out, look at it this way. It's better to know now than later on down the road. You know what I'm saying? So it's best you know now. All right. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna see you're gonna see you're gonna figure it out you're gonna find out. Um, <clears throat> it might have something to do with money. Pay attention to to your finances, and then you got the six of swords here. Things are going to start calming down. You already figured it out. You got the world. You got the Ten of Pentacles. And you got the Six of Swords. You're going to figure it out. It has something to do with money. Now, it could have been all money. Money that you came into or maybe a home or something. But there's some something, some kind of lie, something around it that's that's not right, okay? So just pay attention. Then you got the three of pentacles here. On top of the three of pentacles, you got the hanged man, which is about being stagnant. You can't make a decision, but things are starting to calm down. You're on the alert because you just figured that out. And this energy who's been telling you some lies might have been an earth energy might have been a Virgo a Taurus or a Capricorn but you found out now remember that and it might have been a love interest too you got the hangman you got the page of swords and you have the queen of pentacles now the queen of pentacles is the money manager too <laughs> I don't know okay it's just a feeling I get. I don't know. Maybe they were after the money. Okay. All right. <sighs> That's fast. So then we got the lovers here. On top of the lovers, we got the ace of swords. We got the fool and we got the three of wands. You're going to have clarity. You're going to have clarity and you're going to have clarity. You're going to have a new beginning. You don't let nothing stress you out. You hear me? You keep you, you keep focused on what you're going after. You, you do your healing and all that stuff. Because whatever energy, you you know, with this new beginning, you got a new beginning coming. Um, you can go forward with confidence, okay? You can, you can really look ahead. Stop looking back. Just look ahead, all right? Do some healing. You got the Ace of Swords. You got the Fool. And you got the Three of wands ah. then we got the nine of cups here 
The Nine of Cups, we got the Strength card, we got the Magician and the Two of Pentacles. You know, I, I, I separate these cards. Well, one of my readings, I had these three cards together. So your wishes come true, you're going to find your inner strength. You're going to feel and you're going to know that you are the Magician. And once you incorporate love and healing into whatever it is that you're doing, and you do things with good intention, you're going to see some magic happen. And the off-balance feeling you feel sometimes, psh, that's going to go away. You got the Strength card, you got the Magician, and you got the Two of Pentacles. Above the Nine of Cups, your wishes are going to come true. You might be balancing some finances in a way, you know? Don't let that, don't let that stress you out, okay? And there you are, the King of Swords, Aquarius. You need to do some self-evaluation. You need to go within. You might need to do some healing. You might need to start believing in you and trusting you. Yes. You got a lot of reason and a lot of authority within you, you know. But you can't be, you know what I mean? Just say things in a nice, pleasant way. Just to get your point across. So you got the King of Swords, you got the Judgment card, you're gonna do some self-evaluation and you're gonna start feeling revitalized. You are gonna go within, you got the Hermit there as, as well. And that's on top of the Strength card. So you communicate with a vision, okay? Whatever it is that you're doing. And then on top of the Five of Cups, the acceptance of whatever loss you lost. You got the Three of Cups, there's celebration. You got the Two of Wands. You got two paths you can choose. Two paths you can choose. All right, babies? Whichever one of them you choose, it looks like you're coming into some new financial opportunity or something. This could be a promotion. This could be some kind of business venture. This could be something. Whatever it is, it's bringing you some money. Let me rephrase that. It's bringing you some more money. <laughs> you got the three of cups. You got the two of ones. And you got the ace of pentacles. You got a new financial opportunity coming. Stop stressing. Just to make sure you took care of well, the devil and stuff. That's in the past. And they're arguing. There's still a little bit of conflict around you. Um, still a little bit of conflict. But all in all, it doesn't look too bad. Look like everything starting to work out for you. Good. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and stop stressing. All right? Pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to your money. I love you. Chat with you later. Bye. <laughs>